To improve upon the drawbacks of using penicillin G in gram-negative bacteria, there was a need to have an antibiotic that had improved gram-negative coverage. Enter the amino penicillins. Examples of amino penicillins include ampicillin and amoxicillin. The name for this group of compounds stems from their structure. The addition of the amino group labels these compounds as amino penicillins. Amino penicillins really do not work any differently than other penicillins. Amino penicillins are cell wall synthesis inhibitors and achieve this action by competitively inhibiting transpeptidase. Amino penicillins are bactericidal. For more review on this mechanism of action, please review the video on penicillins. The resistance to amino penicillins is very similar to other penicillins and includes susceptibility to beta-lactamases. In order to combat beta-lactamase-induced resistance, amino penicillins are often combined with beta-lactamase inhibitors to extend the spectrum of amino penicillins to beta-lactamase-producing bacteria. For a review on these mechanisms of resistance that all penicillins share, please review the video on penicillins. Like I mentioned prior, the amino penicillins have expanded coverage versus penicillin G against gram-negative bacteria. This enhanced coverage of gram-negative bacteria is attributable to increased binding affinity to transpeptidase and increased penetration through the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria. Amino penicillins cover gram positives and some gram negatives, including Escherichia coli and other enterics, including Proteus, Salmonella, and Shigella species. Combination with beta-lactamase inhibitors extends the spectrum of amino penicillins to include beta-lactamase producing bacteria. Beta-lactamase inhibitors improve amino penicillin coverage of H. influenzae, E. coli, Klebsiella species, Proteus species, and B. fragilis. Hypersensitivity to amino penicillins is an issue just like it is with penicillin G. Patients that are allergic to penicillin G are likely allergic to amino penicillins due to the high degree of structural similarity between the two drugs. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.